So welcome back, everyone. We are live on Facebook, so I do want to say hi to everybody out there. Listen up. This is going to be pretty interesting. I'm very excited about bringing on my next guest. He's been on with me a couple of times. I have with me Peter South, and he is the owner of I Trip Tempe. Tell everybody a little bit about what you do. Yeah, hey, Carol. Thanks for having me back. It's great to be back in with you. Um, so, yeah, we are iTrip Vacations. We are full-service property manager for your short-term rentals, Airbnb, VRBO. That's all we do. We are in the vacation business to make sure your property is cared for. Now, you got into this. You have a story, so we want to talk a little bit about it. We're also going to kind of do... Uh, in a sense, property management for an Airbnb 101. We're going to talk a little bit about that because it ain't as easy as anybody would think. You also should have somebody who knows what they're do, doing this. It's pretty intense. First, tell us your story. Yes, yeah, so I've always, I guess I've always dreamed, I'm going to be this property manager. And um, so I was a hobbyist property manager. I had my own property. I did it all myself for 10 years. And I just had a standard year lease of people in there and I took care of everything and um, it was great it's always what we have a great three bedroom house it's never a problem booking it but um, it's just really slow money uh, honestly and um, it's great it's money every time but it just takes forever to make money in that business and about five years ago I had a friend he's like oh you should do VRBO and I was like that's so risky. Why would anybody risk that? I have my safety, my, my precious year lease. And, you know, fast forward five, seven, six years, I'm like, why didn't I do this five years ago? It's so much faster on the money. <laughs> Especially there wasn't COVID and all that kind of stuff. But we're getting over that. A lot of people have to understand, why do an Airbnb with the property that they may own? Yeah, so I had a property, a great, I have a three bedroom house. Um, it's in Ahwatukee and it's the perfect house for, for renting. But honestly, I made like $16,000. That's all I was making, um, which is fine. I could cover my costs, but I have a mortgage. I still have expenses. It's not, it's not all of that goes to me. And so I said, we're doing it. We are remodeling it. We put in all new bathrooms. We put in new yard, new paint and it looks great uh, it's just fresh beautiful like refreshed house and um, you know this year we're probably gonna make like thirty four thousand dollars and we launched it in March so I'll make double the amount of my money and I brought I missed January February and almost all of March that's when and everyone that comes here time, yeah that's when people are coming here and I was like man why didn't I do this I could have been going on vacation with my family with my kids for the for the last eight years, if I had just had like the courage to say, this isn't that scary of an investment. Well, I think that everything happens for a reason, right? And I think more than anything, what happened is that you learned what to do or what not to do as well. And we're going to talk a bit about this because uh, deciding to take one of your properties and making an Airbnb out of it there are some things you really need to know, correct? Yes, there are some things to know. And you don't just say, I'll just be on, I'll just take a bunch of iPhone pictures and go on Airbnb. It doesn't work that way. This is a billion dollar, in the United States, this is a, a $70 billion business. This isn't just the mom and pop do it yourself of uh, the, the olden days. So you really need to pay attention to what you're doing to compete. Um, and make the house show beautiful and view beautiful to make that thirty, forty, thousand, fifty thousand dollars. Right. So there's first number one. The first thing is is you have to have that house be um, presentable for yes. it to be a, an Airbnb. So yes, after you decide, I'm willing to go for this risk. The things you really need to think about is what do I need to do to make this house beautiful? Because um, your stuff, while it might be nice. Um, you're catering to people that want an experience that they're a house that's better than the house they came from or at least equal to and so you have to think like all right well I do need new furniture and um, we went out and we got all new furniture we got all new dishes and it cost us about fifteen thousand dollars and that's what I would tell the listeners like you want to do a three-bedroom house it'll be about fifteen thousand dollars to furnish it and add three to five thousand dollars per bedroom um, so you have to think about that step one um, 
How do I get a furnace to make it look beautiful? But then there's other aspects of it, and that's where you come in, and I want to talk a bit about this, because you are the property management, but not only that, you help people who want to start their own. You will help them hold their hand and help them market it. There's a big, that you, you know, you don't just put it out there. There's a lot that goes into it. Let's talk about that. Why hire you? Yeah, why, why would you hire a property manager? The great thing about like Airbnb, it's like, hey, come rent my room, Verbo, vacation rental by owner. It was all a cottage industry do-it-yourselfer. And you can still do that. There are lots of people that can do that. Um, but as I learned as a hobbyist property manager, I'm pretty handy. But the thing about property management is that when something goes wrong, that's now your full-time job, no matter what. And so we had the the Cobra plumber in, and boy, when your water heater breaks, I've had my water heater break uh, in my rental, and I was like, oh my goodness, I've got like five meetings today, and my kids have band and baseball. How in the world am I going to manage this flood mess in a house? Because things will break. And so one of the reasons you hire a professional is so that you don't have to worry about that. We have great plumbers like Cobra Plumbing. We have great AC companies because we have a lot of houses. And so we know how to get uh, people there fast and also do the routine maintenance on your property. Which is what we were talking about earlier. Now, let me give out your information for them to call. Your number to call is 480 586 9096. The website is itripaz.com. Don't try and do it yourself. And if you already have a property that you already have made into it and you don't have somebody that's helping you take care of it, first of all, not only will you help them alleviate, which they need to outsource for stuff like that, but you will also help them grow their business because you know how to make that be a property that is always filled. It, it, it's a great point because when I was doing my own work for myself, I said, why would I pay somebody 10% on, on that? Why would I pay anybody any money? I could do it myself. But as you realize, number one, what's the value of your time, Carol? Like, You don't want to ask me that question because <laughs> it's very valuable. Right, and so uh -huh. your time has a value to it. Okay, so that's one thing. But what if I told you, I'll make you at very least the same amount of money and you don't have to do anything, right? So why use a property manager? Because we're going to make you at minimum the same amount of money and probably more. And why is that? Because we're not just on Airbnb, we're on Verbo, we're on Google, we're on booking.com, we're on TripAdvisor, we're in the top 1% of property managers on Marriott Homes and Villas. You can use your Marriott points, your Bonvoy points, to rent a short-term rental property, and we are one of those uh, property managers that your property will be on that, and that's the, one of the fastest growing channels in the country right now. The phone number, it's 480-586-9096. The website is itripaz.com. So we have a lot of investors, obviously, uh, that also listen. Some people have houses here, they don't live here. They need to have someone like you. Yes, we have had an owner in Colorado and she was going to do it herself. And then I started talking to her about, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? And she was like, oh my goodness, what what in the world? And so she's sitting in Colorado and the sink breaks on a Sunday afternoon. I just call her on Monday morning and say, hey, your sink broke. We fixed it. All taken care it's of. It's all taken care and of. You she's like, to think thank about you, it. thank she's like, you, thank oh, you. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the other thing, what what would be the one thing that if you can tell everybody right now that you wish you knew that you didn't before? I wish I knew that the risk wasn't so risky. People are coming to Arizona at all times of year to book houses for short-term rentals. You don't have to be afraid that what if people aren't staying? They are going to stay in your house and you will make your money. And you said that one of the times that you were here that the people that want to come are not just the people you think about. They're the families that want to see, the, maybe the grandparents that want to come here and they want to see their kids in sports. There's all sorts of ways and that's where he comes in to help them be booked completely. That number to call, 480-586-9096. It's itripaz.com. Hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute.
we're still live in here, so we're going to continue talking, okay? Yeah. Um, so the number one is risk, is that you felt like you, right? Yes. Number two was get having somebody be a property management company. Number yeah. two, would that be number that two would, on the list? Yeah. I what mean, would be the others? One, one more. I would say um, it, it sounds too co complicated. It's not as compliment, it, uh, complicated as it sounds. Right. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Yes. It's not as complicated as it seems. You know, get good people to help you. Okay. Are there new laws? Yeah. There. There's a whole bunch of new things coming down. In September, a new law is taking effect. That good news for owners is that you have you're going to continue to have the right to have your short-term rentals. That cities cannot prohibit them. So. A lot of people have a lot of fears that the, the cities are going to stop you. They're not going to stop you. Um, but there are some regulations that are coming in that, you know, the short answer is you need to make sure you are permitted properly, which unknown exactly what those are going to be. Those are still being written. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing that you wrote down here, too, was how does somebody know where to buy one? And so you can help them with that, too, if they just want to get into the business. Maybe yeah. they don't even own a house yet. Yeah, I mean, so many people, I mean, investing in real estate is one of the best ways to build wealth, of course. And, but where do you buy, you know, I always start with what's your goal for the property? Mm -hmm. You know, like, should you buy in Scottsdale? Maybe, if your goal is prestige. But do you want value? I don't know, buy in Goodyear. You can still buy a $500,000 brand new house that's real big and nice. And so you can spend five hundred thousand dollars. You can spend one point two million dollars. And um, there are places that I wouldn't buy, and I'll tell you exactly where I wouldn't buy. Where would you, know? you buy? Honestly, like some of the places are like just north of like Grand Canyon University. It's kind of just a dead zone for whatever reason. It's mm -hmm. not just not booking. It's mm -hmm. not search. Not great searchable. It doesn't come up on like I'm searching for Cardinal Stadium. I'm searching yeah. for Arizona State. I'm right. searching for. Desert Vista, desert hiking trails. Right, right, right. It's sort of the industrial dead center of the city. Right. And that's kind of what it is for short term rentals, even, anyways. <laughs> Here we go. These guys just became a, um, a sponsor, and they come on once a week, mm. every week. They talk about people problems. <laughs> so welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Peter South. He's the owner of I Trip. Tempe, but you've got it on their I Trip Vacations. So yes. is it which one is it I, that you want them to know? Just go to itripaz.com. You can reach us. You can learn a little bit about us, fill out a form, um, see what it is that we're doing here in the city. So I think what happened with you is, is that you decided to do something that was sort of a cool thing to do, and you realized that you could help people do this and do it so that they don't lose money that they, they start doing it right right away right yeah. correct yeah we are we're not just property managers we are owners we're invested in we put our own money like I said we remodeled our own house just to do this so I know exactly Absolutely. start nuts to bolts everything of what it takes to get it from zero to a hundred Tell them what it means to be a full service property management company yes we get that a lot like what, what does that mean full service so you know, a property manager cares for your property, and that, that starts with we make sure it's maintained, and if anything needs to be repaired, all the routine care part of it. But the for short-term rentals, that means we'll list your property on the Airbnbs and the Verbos, and then we'll we'll communicate with the guests. So when guests have questions about their property, they want or when they get there, we're there communicating with them every step of the way. We clean the property when the guests leave. We pay all of your taxes, your lodging taxes, for you on your behalf. So as the owner, you don't have to worry about the complicated tax code, which is confusing. And also, 
we, we do a really cool thing that most property managers don't do is we provide free light maintenance on your property. And what that means in real life is like, if I know how to fix it, I'll fix it for free. So there's no secret charges. So like if there's a, like a, a toilet flappers bus, it, we know how to do stuff like that. We're, we're, we're not just business people. We're also tradesmen. I've worked construction a lot of my life. I know how to do a lot of home repairs. Right. And if you don't, then you can call somebody. That's what you have somebody preferred. And then if we don't know how to do, we call the guys like the plumber and they're great. Now the phone number to call is 480-586-9096. It's itripaz.com. Uh, it, they will help you, not only if you already have a property that you already have as an Airbnb, they will help you maintain it, they will help you make sure that it's full, 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 which is also very, very important, mm -hmm. and that, it, that you're going to be making money on it, and that's what it's all about. You, a lot of people start things, they're also a little bit nervous about it. He said, you said to me, there is, it sounds more complicated than it is. Yes. It, it's just easy and just hard enough and don't let the fear of like it just sounds like so confusing I mean that's why you use professionals that's why you use a real estate agent when you purchase a house because they're there to help you to make it easy we have a step-by-step -step guide to get your tax license it's super easy we help you what what should I buy I've got a checklist buy one two three four buy ten plates dot buy ten spoons very simple so you don't have to guess what to put in your house and we just make it as simple as possible. We take the photographs for you and you start collecting money. It may be a little oversimplification, but it's not that hard. The number to call again, 480-586-9096. The website again is itripaz.com. New laws, I want to talk about them. Uh, you know, because you listen, folks, this is something that started, uh, well, I guess I think of several years ago, but now it has become a huge business here so there's going to be you know you know i the irs is going to be coming in there's laws that you have to you know adhere to so yeah there's a i mean people have strong feelings both directions about short-term rentals and you might hear about party houses and yes neighbors don't like that and we don't like it either we are anti-party house a hundred percent and so we work uh, with an organization called arizona for responsible tourism to craft really smart legislation and so in this last legislative session the governor signed a law that one protected um, your right as an owner at the state level to use your house as a short-term rental so cities cannot ban you there is no ban on properties to rent for short-term rentals which is great that's a three-year moratorium agreed to by the government so that's really good so that gives us the opportunity to make sure we improve the system um, but there are some permitting requirements, there are some notification requirements that are coming up, and you as, a, as an investor and an owner, that's where you need people like us, because we're, we sit on those boards in those groups that help draft that legislation, so we know about it, exactly what you need to do as an owner, so you don't get a fine, because there is a series of fines that are going to be in place now. Cities can start fining you for being a not in compliance. And when you list with us, you won't have to worry about that. Their phone number, 480-586-9096. It's itripaz.com. I think it all starts with a conversation, right? So maybe somebody's interested in just doing something like this. They've, they're they interested in uh, investing, but they want to build now on that house and have it you know, work for them all the time. You, they call you, you do a free consultation with them. What does that look like? Yes, yeah, so you know, the number one question we get from investors is, how much can I make? It's similar to, how much is my house worth? How much can I make? <laughs> how much can I make? Okay, well, that's a great question. And we are really um, responsible with what we provide to you. We, you. The great thing about short-term rentals is there's really no limit. That's the great part. And we look at the numbers. We have a bunch of different places we pull data from. We don't just have this one website we go to to get data. We have our own internal data. We have several places we turn to get to to get actual data about how much people are making around the city. And so we do an analysis and we say, 
Um, you know, a four bedroom house, I would say, you know, you're probably in that like 55 to $75,000 gross earning range in the city. I'd give that like a rough ballpark, just to wet everyone's beak. And that's a real number that you can take home. Um, and, but it ultimately comes down to the beginning we were talking about is, what is the house? Is it beautiful? Does it appeal to your eyes? When you set it up, wow, this house is amazing. It's better or equal to my house. I want to stay here when I come to town. So, and you help them with that, because I'm going to ask you again, what is the number one thing that they need to do? First thing. <laughs> well, they need to, I have to identify the property, but um, furnish the property beautifully is the thing you need to do after you own the property. Identifying the property or having the property is the bigger part, but Furnishing it is number one. You have to furnish and it. And you so give them a beautiful. list of exactly what yes. they need to buy. How many plates, you know, uh, sheets. You, you help them with everything that they would need that, since that would go inside that house for a an Airbnb. Yes, we give them a full list. And one of the great things is you don't have to worry about things like towels and sheets. We take care of that for you. We do everything hotel quality because that will set you apart when people come and stay. So let's talk about that. So let's say somebody, okay, she's decided that she wants to do her house, make it into an Airbnb. She's already just bought some beautiful uh, furniture and, and made it beautiful, designed it, whatever. Then you come in and now say, you don't have to worry about towels and sheets because we supply that for you. Because you want your clients, because their clients are your clients, to have top-notch hotel quality uh, sheets, towels and sheets. Precisely. When you go into Marriott... I never heard you say that before. That's pretty cool. Go <laughs> when ahead. you go into Do Marriott... Do you need a robe too? Just to, I was, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. But that's, you know, we, we've talked about it. But when you go into Marriott, you have an expectation. I will have clean white sheets. I will have clean white towels. I will have my little coffee pot. I will and, have a mint. Couple, and a mint. A couple waters. And we supply all of those things because we, we're competing with hotels and we're offering we want to offer superior product to hotels we say here you go here's everything you get at a hotel the clean white linen experience but also oh you get a backyard and you get a spa or you get a pool and you get a living room all to yourself or a pool table arcade all these great things that you don't get in a hotel so that's how we are equal to a hotel and stand above the hotel. Their phone number to call, 480-586-9096. The website is itripaz.com. They do a free consultation. Anybody that has been thinking about the possibility of getting into this type of business, because it is a business, it's a big business. What's a billion dollar, how many, how many billions of dollars a year is it now? It's like a $70 billion industry. It is, and you know, but you need to know what you're doing and having somebody and be having a property management company is probably the number one thing that you could do because you don't have to do it yourself. They're there to help you, but much, much more. They're there to not only help you uh, outsource some things, but to make them be successful Yes, we want you to be successful, and when you make money, it's good for you, and it's good for us. We're all winning, and so whatever your goal for the property is, we are going to help you achieve that goal because ultimately it's your property, and I want you to get what you want out right. of it, and we will help you every step away to achieve that goal for your investment. That phone number again, 480-586-9096. The website is itripaz.com. If you already have an Airbnb and you don't have a property management company, call them. They're the ones to talk to. They'll do a free consultation with you, tell them all the things that they offer to help make you succeed and know how to even make it better than it already is. Also, if you're looking to get into this business, they will help you start you with your holding your hands making sure that you know what what property to buy where to buy uh, knowing that it's going to be filled they're going to help you they're on all the sites what are the sites that you're on airbnb vrbo marriott google booking.com tripadvisor homes to go hopper there are so many sites you wouldn't even believe international sites you've never heard of 
And if you think that people don't want to be here, they do. They're coming <laughs> here in droves. The number to call, 480-586-9096. It's itripaz.com.